hello everyone welcome back today video is about installation of laravel app so this is our first laravel app we are going to install our first application we already set our pre requests which are required to run a laravel project so let's go to the terminal and create our first installation of laravel okay and let's click on the documentation this is very cool website and if you are on the windows you need to click on the windows and if you are on the another one like macintosh or linux you can click on them and install the installation you can install it by using curl but i'm going to install it by composer it's upon you okay and uh, composer is uh, a very simple stuff that's why i'm going to prefer the composer it's a huge plus for beginners okay and this is the command uh, which is used to install a application of laravel so let's go to the terminal and type this command type is composer create project and it's a laravel slash laravel and here you need to mention the app name which app you want to create i'm going to create example project okay mm, this will be our first project and i'm going to enter and it will and now it's pulling the latest version of laravel so one more thing if you want to fetch the older version of laravel like uh, like 7 or 6 so after this laravel slash laravel you need to enter a equal sign and after this you need to mention your version like if you want to uh, put a laravel 7 you can uh, enter a 7 if you want to uh, pull a specific version of laravel 7 you can put the specific version name okay and this will pull the specific version from the github repository so now it's pulling the latest version of laravel because we did not mention any version so it's pulling the latest version uh, which one is 8.6.1 so this will take some time so i'm pausing the video and uh, coming back it's uh, almost successfully installed and generating the auto loads files okay and uh, just wait uh, three to four seconds it will create uh, the auto loads files also okay and yes it's created the uh, application key and auto loads files so our first application is created successfully how we can now the time is to run this application so how you can run this application there are a variety of ways but i'm going to use a simple ones so this is a uh, very good for beginners so let's go to the project directory uh, the my project name is example project which i created now okay cd and uh, cd is used to change directory and directory name i specified the directory name here okay we are in the project directory so here i'm going to run our laravel app by using artisan so laravel uh, laravel provide us a local server which is uh, provided by artisan so you need to hit a command php artisan serve so it will create a local server for you so on this port this is a uh, http 127 is a local host and then you need to type uh, 8000 this port you can type is by 127 or you can type localhost 8000 so let's go to the let's copy this okay let me copy this and uh, go to the web browser and paste it just remove this first slash here okay and hit enter and yes our laravel is opened our laravel app is open here you can also open this by typing local host and here you need to specify the port name okay it's a 8000 okay and this is the this is open the laravel app here so you can 
uh, open in by dubbing local host or 127 it spawn you so we successfully uh, uh, created our first application and now we are running this application so in the next video we will open this uh, application in the text editor and uh, the editor i will suggest you to use visual code studio it's a lightweight and the other thing uh, other major major thing is it's a uh, totally free and it's open source you can install the extensions of laravel and use uh, laravel things okay and uh, that's it for this video we'll meet in the next video thank you bye bye